you know? It's funny to me, man. It's funny to me. Whenever you start to do good, right, in your life, you're just progressing forward. You're doing what you do, you're focused. Nobody can get in your way, nothing's gonna, nothing's really phasing you. You're just, you're hitting your goals, you're working very hard, you're sacrificing, you're putting in the time, you're putting in the grind. And the devil himself is getting so annoyed with you that it is not even funny, man. So annoyed. And you're going to see the devil through people on a daily basis. In certain places. Right? The devil could be watching me right now. In this YouTube video. Rightfully so, you little rat bastards. But, you know, these people are out there, man. These people are out there in public. The things you do, the good things you do, the positive progress that you're making, the truth that you bring to this world, all the hard work you put in, all the grinding, all the sacrificing, you're pissing off the devil. You are pissing him off. And it's going through a lot of people. A lot of people are mad at you. A lot of people want to see you fail. Not just a couple. There's a lot. And, you know, what can you do? Not much besides continue on. Because you will, you will get to the point that not even the devil can mess with you anymore. And I feel that I'm literally getting to that point. Like, people just have to shut up before they look really dumb. Real dumb. Because they don't know anything. What they think they know is not what they know at all. And that's the thing with these types of people with these evil spirits. They do have evil spirits. There is such thing as evil spirits. And it all has to do with your intentions. You can eliminate evil spirits. I've had not the best spirits latched onto me at times of my life whenever I was in the mix with people that I shouldn't have been in the mix with. And it's like you, you feel yourself starting to change. So you get out of those environments. You get away from certain people. You get away from your ex. You get away from this. You get away from that. And you start to become more positive. You start to become more energetic because... Little did you know, these people probably had a Jezebel spirit or some shit like this that was draining your quip, that was draining your energy, and it's making you lesser of who you really are. And it's not a good thing. So you get away from that and you realize what was actually just happening. And this is why I'm saying there is such thing as good and bad spirits. And there's a lot of people that just have these negative demons inside of them and they could have been good at one point in time but you know people change sometimes for the sometimes for the better sometimes for the worst you can't rely on people but you can rely on yourself you can trust yourself you can trust your own actions but when it comes to other people expect the unexpected and there is times where you can put your trust in other people but if someone's starting to change your trust has to start coming back as they're changing as well. You cannot keep putting your trust into somebody that you trusted for a certain amount of time, but now their actions are going downhill. You gotta follow through with what you see happening with a specific individual. I'm telling you guys this now. I've seen some of the best, most happiest, positive people turn into demons. I've seen it. And there was a part of me, not just a part of me, there was all of me that didn't want to accept that and wanted to change them, but they were going a certain way. And um, I could not change them, unfortunately. They would not listen to me. And what happened, happened. You cannot save these people. People are going to do whatever they want to do and you have to allow it, you have to accept it. 
and you have to see them for what they are and accept that as well. And the only thing you really can control is yourself and your own actions. You don't have to go down with anybody. You can keep rising up. You can keep being the positive person that you are. Some people want to say you're negative. Some people want to lie on your name and think you're negative. When in actuality, there's so many negative people in, in today's day and age that want to put on this front as if they're so happy and they're so this and they're so that. I ain't buying it. I'm not buying it. I, I've seen some people that want to act right nice in public, but behind the scenes, when it's just you and them, they're not like that at all. They're very negative, very rude, very ignorant people. And sometimes it takes a little bit to, to realize this within some people that you come across in life. And when you see that, you best believe that is who they are. That is what it is. Their true color show. Their true color show. You believe what is being shown right in front of your own two eyes. The devil comes in mysterious ways in this world. I'm telling you guys this now. I'm telling you guys this now. And I know a lot of you guys know this already. It is true. But, like I said, when you are on your path and purpose, when you're doing your thing, right? You're not letting anything phase you. You're not getting, you're not getting in the mix with these types of people. You're just kind of going like a chainsaw through butter. You're just cutting down a tree. You're, you're, you're going to your goals. You're not going to them. You're going through them. Like a hot knife through butter. And the devil is going to start to get to when he, he's going to start to get real annoyed with you because he cannot do anything. There's nothing he can do to take you out, to take you down. And like I said, he's going to try to use people on earth that might even be closest to you to try to get to you, to try to take you down, to try to take you out. But it's not going to be enough because you're too powerful at this point. And, you know, you just. If you feel right now you're not so powerful in life and you're a little bit vulnerable, you know, he might succeed in using people against you. But if you have your full strength, and only know, only you know if you do, I feel right now I'm at my best in so many ways right now in life. And I feel a lot of strength. I feel there's nothing that these people can do to take me down to take me out. I feel I'm doing my thing right now. And there's, there's always these little moments that something is thrown my way. And it's like, is this good or is this bad? I, I, you know? And I can tell pretty quick. But it's that, it's that moment where something is thrown at you where, you where you have that conversation. Is this good or is this bad? And it's not long after you have that conversation with yourself that you realize what is actually here. You put the pieces of the puzzle together and you either go through or you don't. You, you should do the right thing and back out of a bad situation that comes your way. Because if you don't, you're going to be in a world of hell. You're going to come into this false sense of reality and you're done for. You're going to have to go through healing after that. Um, it's going to be another negative, negative experience on your life, on your name. And it could take some months. Even if it was a short-term experience, it could take some months to heal from a situation that you've only been in for one month. You could be healing for the next half year or so. It, it, it just depends. It just depends. That's why you got to be careful. That's why you got to be careful who comes in and out of your life. And um, when the devil is annoyed, he's going to do his best to try to send a lot of people to take you out. I feel this. I feel, I don't know, like, it's unbelievable the things that come my way. Time after time after time, day after day after day, it's like, there's just something else. There's just something else. There's just something else. <sighs> I don't know. I'm going to get to a point, I know for a fact, because I'm in a very good position right now in life. I can basically do whatever I want right now, but I'm playing smart. I'm being patient. I'm not jumping to anything. I'm not desperate. I'm basically hanging in there right now. I'm doing my thing. I'm being patient. 
I'm doing everything right right now. If I wasn't doing everything right, I'd be rushing to certain places. I'd move out of my province, which that is a possibility, just not right now this mint. It could be a possibility within less than a half year or years from right now. Just right now, I know I'm doing the right thing. And one month from now, what I'm doing right now might not be the right thing, but I know from my intuition what the right things are. I know when enough is enough from a certain situation. I trust my intuition. My intuition, which I follow my entire life, has led me to where I'm at right now, currently, in my life. And I couldn't be happier. And there was times years ago where I definitely wasn't happy with where I was and I was striving and working my tail off to get myself to where I knew I deserved and should be rightfully so and I did not let the devil defeat me in any way shape or form he cannot he cannot do that to me no negative people in this world is going to bring me down I know who I am I'm a more solid person than a lot of these fakes that want to say this and that, that and this and pretend like I'm some sort of bad person or untrustworthy. These are the clowns. These are the clowns that are untrustworthy. They are not nice people. They want to pretend they are, but when it comes down to it, they are not as real as you think. And they are, most, for the most part, they are clowns. And they want to say these things about you and it's just, it's hilarious. They're codependents. They're dependent on each other. They don't even have them damn selves. They don't know who they are without everybody else. You trust someone like that? And not only that, but the negative spirit the, the negative spirits that they have behind that mask. Which I felt many times from so many people that are so called so happy and, and so positive. It's funny to me. It's funny to me. I've seen it all. Some people that you think is right nice is not so nice after all. And they'll try to pretend to people who might be at a lower vibration than them that they're this good person. They seem like a good person this person because this person is also on the low vibration, but since your vibration is so high, they can't really fool you or fool anybody else that has a high vibration. And I believe these are the people that are right around in the middle where it's like, part of them is good and part of them is not good at all. And they have a decision to make, and it's like they can't even make a decision. They're not going all the way down, but they don't want to go all the way up. It's like they're just, you know, it's, they're stuck, they're confused. They're confused people. And they're not to be trusted. How could you trust somebody like that? You can't. That's how. You cannot do it. At least you're all the way with what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You can be trusted. You are all in. They're not all in. They're halfway in, halfway out. Unsure of themselves. Unsure of their lives. You can't trust people like that. I cannot trust females like that. It's not going to happen. You don't know who you are. I'm not going to continue to talk to you. We're not going to have anything. And you always go on with these things. It's just, I don't even want to get into it, to be honest. But, and these are just things that happen, you know, like in the past. You just, you can't trust people like that. Plain and simple. They just cannot be. They have to be sure of themselves. They have to come forward. They have to make a decision. Make a decision. Make a decision and stick to it. How are you supposed to become successful? How are you supposed to have a successful business or job or relationship or friendship or anything that you want if you don't commit? You're halfway in, you're halfway out. I ain't doing halfway shit in my life anymore and I ain't dealing with, I ain't dealing with halfway people. Make a decision. For God's sakes. And you know what? That's why I get attacked spiritually. Not all the time. 
I feel pretty damn good right now, I'm not going to lie, and I don't feel real attacked today. But I've experienced it and I know how it is on the journey. But when you're able to make decisions and you're going all in on the decisions that you're making, you're doing the right things, you're doing good things. You're going to start to annoy the devil. You will get attacked at first and then when he realizes he ain't got nothing on you, we got to let this one go. They have a talk with each other down under and they're saying, boys, look at this. We cannot take this guy down. We can't do it. Look how, look, look how bright this dude right here is. We cannot take him down. You know what? We're going to let him be with God. He's going to go and he's going to, he's going to do what he's going to do. We have to go after all the weaker people now spiritually. We have to make sure these people don't enter that portal. We have to bring these people down. So let's get these weaker spiritually people. We're going to leave this guy alone because he's already in the clear. He's already done it. He's did it. He's done. We cannot get him anymore. I feel you get to a point where you get to there. That's where everybody wants to get. You don't want to be drugged down by, by these demons. Because they, they can get you down. If you get yourself... In the wrong position, they can get you down. I know it, it's happened to some people. You just don't want to be one of them. And you know what? You, you could get hit by a demon and still come back from it just fine. As long as you know what happened, as long you know, as you know what's going on, you can come back from damn well anything. It just takes strength. It just takes God. And I'm going to end the video there. So, you guys know what you got to do. When you're annoying the devil also... You're on a good path. Because that's going to come first before anything else. That's one of the first things that's going to come whenever you're on the right path. You will annoy him. And then other things will happen. And then you get that breakthrough. And then you will be left alone. And sure, some other little things may happen here and there. But it's something that you can't handle. And you're too damn far ahead for them to even, you know, do anything at all. So, this is how it goes, guys. This is my experience. Whatever you guys believe in was, is what you guys believe in, but this is honestly what has happened, and I'm not stupid. I, I, I see things clearly. I know how things are, and people cannot fool me. They, they can pretend that they're so smart. They can pretend this. They can pretend that. I'm ahead. I am ahead of these fools. I'm out.